Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77 and we are back again on Sky Factory 4. And this is episode 25 and we are just moving right along here. This is great. Behind me you can see the Apply Energistic system that we did in the last two episodes. And that system is working great. So no more storage problems for Tinker. Isn't that great? Hey, if you're liking this series, please click that like button and have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It only takes a moment and it really does help me out. Okay, we're gonna get started pretty quick here by looking first at what we have to do left in the storage. Because if you look, we've finished all of this, we got most of this. There's just a few things that we need to do or build and we can get through this. So I'm gonna to try to see if we can get through this page today. That's the goal for this. And if we get done with this sooner than later, then maybe we'll move, move on to something else, okay? So right away, we need to make a simple storage network processing controller block. Um, that should be fairly easy. So we'll go in here and uh, it's a simple storage, right? And it's a controller block and it takes all that stuff and we don't have much of that. So let's get some lapis lazuli blocks. This is so much nicer to have this thing running. Um, we needed to have uh, processing cables. Okay, which it looks like we need some observers and some gold. So let's get those observers made. We need what, four of these? I think, maybe, maybe not. We need to get some gold nuggets here. There we go, that's plenty. And we need to make one of those. I didn't make all the observers, but that's okay. And there we go. And that one is done. Okay, so now we need to make some of these things here. Let's make uh, a craft a barrels, drums, storage, and more metal barrel. This block increases your capacity over wooden barrel. Okay, so we're gonna throw this in here, get rid of this, we've got the barrel. And I don't see it anywhere. This is barrels, drum, storage, and more. So let's look up that. And it's actually overriding up here, so. Okay, so we'll do a metal drum. We don't have anything for that. Let's make the wooden one. And to make the wooden one, we need to make, uh, what, one of these? And some of these, right? There we go. Okay, so now we've got that. Now we got to make some iron. Uh, these are the weighted pressure plates. Okay, there we go. And we need to make this. And how do we make that? This is going to be interesting. Uh, looks like if we take it and put iron in the enrichment chamber. So let's grab some iron. Looks like we only need six of this. There we go. And we have the enrichment chamber over here. So we'll put that in there and let that run like this, just like this. Now I am still tweaking settings on my microphone. So if my voice cuts in and out, I might have the noise gate set up a little bit wrong, but I'm working on it. Okay, so uh, if you have any comments on that, please let me know. Um, specifically points in the video where you can tell that I had been speaking, but that Mike had not picked it up yet. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get that one in just a second. Uh, metal, metallic crate. Okay, let's see what this is really quick. It's not showing up, so this is that part of the barrels thing again. We need to make one of these and more plates, so we're going to need more <laughs> of this. Looks like I need to get some more iron. Let's go get some more iron real quick and do that. And I might have some of those crates already, though, so that could be good. Doesn't look like it, though. Do now. And let's get some iron. I don't want to do too much of this iron, but we can do another six, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can now see I can hear that when cut out for the audio. So I still have some settings I need to do. There we go, I'll take that six out. Run back over. I do need to put um either get a wireless terminal or put terminals on the other side. Uh so we'll have to take a look at that, but we'll get there. Okay, so a drum. We're making this drum right here, and there is that advancement right there. We're gonna get the other six to make this. Metal crate will be good. And then we have a shipping container, huh? Okay, let's look at that. Shipping containers, just blocks and a metal crate, which we're gonna have, which we can do all of that pretty easy right here. So we need to just get those pieces so that we can make the uh, metallic crate. Waiting on this device right here to get six of these done. And we only have three, we have four. So we're gonna be doing this just for a second. And then we're gonna have all of this done here. So what is this? 
craft a maximum size compact storage backpack. Okay, I think... I think we to make this, we have to use a chest builder, I believe. So we'll have to go get that in a second. I don't want this whole thing to do that. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, there we go. We don't need it anymore. Okay, we're gonna go over, make the metallic crate, make the storage crate, and then we're gonna go in and make the backpack. And then we're gonna be on our way here. Okay. We're trying to make the metallic crate. And there that is. And there we need this piece. We need to make some iron bars. That's easy. Make seven blocks. Like that. And storage crate. There we go. So that has all of that done. So now we just have to get this backpack and then all of these look like some sort of upgrades, which shouldn't be that bad. Okay. So let's try to do that. Uh, we're going to do the, um, what is it? Is, what is it called? It's the, um, Oh, can't remember the name of the thing. Uh, compact storage. Is that what it is? Then we make this compact store. Oh, it's over there. That's where it is. It's over there. I'll just bring it over here. I forgot that I left it out and it's sitting by the market at our original base location. Okay, bring this back so it's close. We'll build this uh, backpack, and then from there, we will go on and do all of those upgrades. So let me put this down right here, okay? And we're going to make a backpack, and it said a maximum capacity one, right? And I'm going to make this one kind of a red color. Okay, so we need 36 plastic. That's plenty. Stack of iron. And I'm still hearing the problem. Let me go and tweak this setting really fast over here. Um, I'm going to bring the noise gate down a few more notches. There we go. I'm hoping that that will make it better for you guys. 64 oak fences. And we have 22. There's a 64 right there. That's fortunate. And four leather. Now this is the piece that always takes me forever. Now let's look at this and on the drying rack you can put them but you can also I've been told put them in the drying basin and get that now look it takes rotten flesh and do we have any rotten flesh we have eight of that and I don't know any other use for it besides to make leather so we're gonna go over here to the drying basin we have one of these um, I think this is it look at that that's really pretty quick now, one thing I'm concerned about right now is that this is really going down low and nothing's running. That's odd. I mean, nothing is on. Nothing is on. But we are running low on power. I wonder if it's gotten any, if the logs are being passed into this devices back here. We have plenty there. Yeah, this is empty. So we're not, for some reason, it's not filling up fast enough. Um, yeah, two of those are messed up. Okay, so let's see if I can stack here. Okay, I don't care how much I can just put in there. Let's get these suns started. Hopefully that will help augment the energy problem and it will even out. This is a little bit con uh, of a concern because we're using so much power, but it shouldn't be using that much power over here. Um, we may have a pro <laughs> power problem, guys. Um, I, nothing over there will be using power. Only thing I can think of is that because of all of the uh, external uh, storage buses, that it's causing this to have some trouble. Um, so we might have to do a power issue here really soon <laughs> okay um and i'll have to solve that in a little bit okay let's put that in there and we're making the uh the leather i need that for the backpack okay build it and there it is and we have that excellent don't need all that we can put that back okay so now um we've got to figure this out with power 
Okay, we are just not producing enough power yet. You can see it's going out pretty... We're only doing 140. Even if we doubled it, we still wouldn't have the power capacity that we want. And so that means we need to have a lot more of these devices here. And this isn't filling them up fast enough because it looks like this... I'm going to have to upgrade this, I think, um, and fill this up. But we got to get more power or shut down things that are using power. And one of the ways I can do that is this over here. Um, these are GPS markers. If I take out these markers, that should stop some of the power draw. And it did. So the only thing that's using power are these devices here and this over here. See, nothing's being drawn. So yeah, it's definitely a problem with my storage system. I'm going to have to get something pretty quick here to upgrade that. So we need to go, um, wow, we need a bunch more of those generators. Can we make those quick? Um, these are combustion. These are these right here. Let's make some redstone blocks. We'll do it this way. Really? That's all I have is that? Come on. Okay, unbelievable. Why did that not work? I don't know. Maybe that's why it's only doing stacks at a time. Put that in there. Let's make uh, the combustion chamber. Um, we need some more furnaces here. Okay. Nine of these. That'll work. Um, so we need to put these... I'm going to put these right beside it. We have some uh, lighting problems here. I need to get some more uh, slabs. I need to get some more um, stuff here. I need to do it quickly. Quickly, tinker, quickly. There's some slabs. And uh, what do we else do we need? We need some item ducts. And we'll let's get some oak. So we can prime these things up while, and give us some power while we wait. And we need some leadstone. Should be enough. Okay. So basically, I'm just trying to get some more power going here um, from this system. There we go. Okay, so... These should be feeding into here. And then, um... If we take the... Leadstone, we can probably chain it across like that and there we go and for now I'm just going to stick 64 in just to get them going and running Are they all in have power yes okay now that probably doesn't limit or doesn't give us enough but it gives us closer Okay, we do have 260. We are going up now. Okay. Now, we know, though, that this particular piece over here, this um, uh, servo over here is not that great. So we're going to have to make a higher level servo right now. So let's go over here and look. And I think this is going to require us to actually make some more alloy um, things that... Oh, that went too fast. Okay. So, the servos here, we can do a hardened, we can do a reinforced, signalium, and resonant. I typically would like to do reinforced, okay? We have most of this stuff, but we'll, and we can make one right there, a servo, and we just had to add an electrum. And an electrum, um, if we are uh, smelting molten electrum, what is it? It's melting silver and gold, okay? So, let's do some silver... We have one silver ingot. When we can have a gold ingot. And that would give us an ingot worth of electrum. Um, so let's go put it over here and get this kind of cooking. Okay. And we need to get our cast, our ingot cast, which should be still in the storage system. 
should be. Okay, so cast. There it is. Actually, let's go get a servo. We can just grab a servo now. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Let's eat too. We're running out of running out of donuts, but we probably have lots of donuts. Cast down. We have two ingots of electrum, and we should only need one. Here we go. Okay, and we'll do that and that, and there we have a reinforced servo that should, in theory, run faster. Okay, so let's go in here. Can I get in here at all? Uh, no. I have to break some things to get in here first. Put this back down and we'll put this servo right here okay now that should work faster now you can kind of see it's going as fast as it can go it's dumping stuff out that's awesome okay and it's filling up so these should be automatically st uh, storing stuff and look we're actually storing stuff in the batteries now of the um of the devices and this should be going up and it uh, is not. Now we're only doing 140. What's going on here? Why are we only doing 140 now? Oh, I didn't connect them up. Yeah. Like that. There we go. <laughs> we help if I hooked it up to the system, right? Okay. Now I see we're generating a lot more power um, and that's working. So we're definitely going up on power. Power problems are solved. Excellent. Okay. So now um, I'm going to cut here really quick. See where we're at with time, and then we're going to go on probably to the, making all those upgrades. Looks like I have plenty of time. Okay, we're going to go right away into this. Do a craft a 64k upgrade, and this is the barrels upgrade again. So we'll see if we can get through this today. Okay, so at barrel, we'll do a 64k one. I guess that's pretty easy. We did a 64, and we probably have to do a 256. Uh, probably need one of those. And we got 256. So far, these are good. 1K, what's that? Um, need one of those. We have gold and diamonds. There's the 1K. How about the 4K? Now, it takes a gold pressure, pressure plate. Bleh, pressure plate. Words are hard. 4K. And what's the infinity one? I'm not sure. Is that creative? We don't have to do creative or dictionary. This one is everything but a book. There's a book. Made that one. And this one is all of this with a fancy frame. There's a fancy frame. It's like we need to make more obsidian. And then this takes 264Ks. This is a uninstall upgrade. So you can see here we need to get those two things. So we got to get some uh, some more obsidian first. And some cobble. We'll go over to where we always do the uh, make obsidian. I don't. Ha I need to make a machine for this. I haven't done it yet. And, you know, that's just the way it is. Okay. So don't need that. Oops, I grabbed lava. <laughs> Don't want to grab, grab the lava. There we go. Almost did that wrong. Oh, I did do it wrong. I caught myself. Can you imagine if I put that lava down on all this stuff? That'd be crazy. Okay, so we have the... Um, six obsidian so we can make that other upgrade okay on this one they're working on right here we got that and now we need to make another 64 this should be pretty easy okay we have the two 64s and one of these keys which looks like all we need to do is make one of these there we go and we'll make the key there we go uh, why did it not do that? And there's a key. And then we just put that there. It's there. Now, if I did this right, there we go. We 
Okay, we got the, you complete the challenge, you win. We have completed this tab right here. We have completed all of the age of storage, which is excellent. I'm happy that we finally got, you now we have two tabs done. And basically we have one, two, three, four, five, six to go. And we're getting there. Uh oh, wait, the Twilight Forest got added. Oh, things get added. I didn't notice that was there. I thought we had just seven before and now I got this one. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun. Um, so now we can work on some other things here. See what we can find. Maybe we can work on a little bit more today. I'm not sure what we can do. Um, I would like to get the saplings for Ardite and for Cobalt, but unfortunately I need a way to get around in the nether better. I'm wondering if maybe we should do some jetpacks. Um, it's just, it's very hard right now. If I go to, do I have my nether cake here? I think I do. Yeah, let's go out to nether and look around. If I can just find some Ardite and some Cobalt, we should be good. But see, I have this really, there's my thing right there. I'm on this really weird area and it's hard to do anything when I, where I am. There's stuff down there. Um, maybe if I dig in, there's it. I made that path up. That's what I did, did that. That's kind of cool. But I'm wondering if I do dig in, maybe if I dig into the, the, the hill, maybe I can find some uh, other resources. I mean, this is just, this is kind of nuts. I'm going to dig in right here. And we'll just see what we, what we find, okay? Maybe we'll come across some Ardite or something. Otherwise, we'll just get some Netherrack. But we're going to take a look around here, see if I can find something. Um, yeah, so... I'll come back and uh, if I find anything, I will let you know. I think I might be in a little bit of trouble. I did find some cobalt here, but it says it's not harvestable with this diamond pick, which makes me think I needed something better that I can harvest it. So we might have to go back and make that. But in the meantime, um, it looks like people have invaded my space here. They're shooting me with their lasers. Some drama here. We get anything from them? Doesn't look like it. We're gonna head back. I started using my hammer. I'll probably make another hammer too, and uh, we'll see if we can make something that can get um, and harvest cobalt. Um, Cause I think we're gonna need that. So let's go back down here. And my cake is right over here, I think. Yes. Okay, so we're back. So now we have to. I gotta figure something out for cobalt. Okay, so let's go back to the uh, storage system. Put all this stuff away first. And figure this out. Probably something that I can uh, use. Oh, went too fast. Gotta go kind of slow with this, otherwise it... Because it's trying to find a place to put stuff is what's going on. Okay. So, is there... Do I have the materials in U-Book? I do not have it yet. I need to make another book. Okay, so this book is what you use for the Tinker Smeltery, and I'm looking for uh, materials that let me use for, that is, I don't know, something that's good. Like, I like uh, Manolim. You can see it's a cobalt, but how do you make uh, Manolim? I don't remember. Let's go look. That's what I always used to use, and maybe we can make that with what we have, but I don't think so. I think that takes, um, it takes all right, cobalt. So that's not going to work. Um, okay, so let's go with the various materials. What we're looking for is, these are all the various materials, okay? We're looking for one that has a mining level of, let's see, steel leaf is just diamond. I want to find one that's cobalt. So nightly, so night metal ingot can do it. Okay, and that's with twilight. Um, iron, 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 cobalt, obsidian. An obsidian one can do it. An obsidian head. Okay, so let's get some more obsidian then. That'll work for me. Um, let's get a bucket. Okay, we're gonna make some obsidian and we're gonna try to make basically a, a pickaxe. I don't care how big it is, just long enough we can get some cobalt and get some um, ardite. Okay. Shouldn't take much of this. 
There we go. I'm gonna grab six of this. Okay, and we're gonna go put this into uh, the smeltery over here. And let that smelt up. Here we go. Do that. And then I'm gonna to need to get the cast I had for the uh, pickaxe. Or actually all of that stuff, but I think I can do most of that. Let's go with the uh, cast. There's the pickaxe cast. And then we had the uh, patterns we had. We had, we will probably need the binding and we need a, oh, was it a tough tool rod? Just a tool rod, right? Okay, maybe it's still over there. Um, I don't care that it might be a very bad pick. I just need to get enough to get the stuff that I need. Um, and there's the tool rod patterns. So we made a tool rod. And there's the binding. Put this down here. And we gotta wait for that. So give me a sec. I'll be right back when it's ready. Okay, here we go. Pouring out the obsidian. And then this should give us an obsidian pickaxe. We can go back to the nether and at least get some cobalt. And we still don't have any ardite. So there we go. We have that. Look over to here. And we will uh, pick that out and we'll put that, that, and that. And there we have our cobalt pickaxe. Excellent. Now, uh, we also need to um, get a lot of that material and also make another hammer. I've been using a diamond hammer. We'll make another one of those. So we have it. And all this stuff can go back. Okay. So I'm going to go back into the nether and we'll go get the uh, cobalt. We have a green check mark. I'm going to vein mine this and see how much we get. Ooh, we got 24. And we got, I can't believe it's not lapis. What is that from? Is that basically saying travel to nether, mine cobalt ore, or use industrial foregoing laser drill to acquire it? Ah, so we could use a laser drill. Okay. Now I'm just going to keep on going. Basically, I'm just bulldozing this place through and we'll get uh, materials and other things. And hopefully we'll find some ardite and I'll get that. And maybe we can make the saplings today. Okay. I haven't found any ardite yet, but I think I see a wither skeleton. He's going to come and get me here in a second. I imagine. Maybe not. I've been looking. Oh, hi, Ed209. Okay. So I did find some other cobalt. I still haven't found any ardite. Um, so I'm going to show you this little battle here. See if we get anything useful. Oops. Yeah, uh, is this another BB? Oh, come on. BB8, really? Okay, so I'm going to have to get back. My pick broke while I was trying to get this stuff here. So we're going to get some more of this stuff and try to find some more Ardite. All right, guys. It looks like I just found some more uh, of this. This is the other ore we're looking for. It's Ardite. So let's grab that. Okay. Uh, so we have Ardite now. And we also have the Cobalt. Let's go back to base. Uh, what we're going we're to do here is we're going to um, make those into ingots and to make saplings, I think. I think that's what we need to do. Um, I was looking at how to make uh, cobalt. I've got some of that in my storage system over here. Let me go grab it real quick. Basically, I tried when I got back and repaired the pick. I tried to put cobalt into uh, the the smeltery, and it didn't work. Let's get rid of some of this stuff real quick. I also tried it in uh, the melter. I tried crushing it. I couldn't figure out what to do. Um, I'm going too fast. Okay, but I think um, I think we can do it this way. Okay, so, um, like I said, I couldn't get it to work in here. Like, if I put it in the smeltery, I put a piece in here, it doesn't work, okay? And I tried to say, okay, what if we crush it to get, like, maybe ore doubling? And nothing happens. Then you put it in the smelter, nothing happens. But I think this, with a squeezer, it works. And it gives us two, three dust. Now, I think the dust, can you then take that in here? Yes, you can Okay, so that works. Now let's see if we can take one of these. And that gives you two Ardite. Okay, so that's good. So we know how that works. Let me get this out of here. Um, and we have a Cobalt Ingot. Okay, so now let's look at how do we make um, these saplings. Because that's really what we want. So let's go out here. And let's look at the Cobalt Sapling first. And it looks like you have to pour it onto a purple slime 
sapling. Do we have purple slime saplings? I hope so. If we do, we've got cobalt then. Um, we don't. So how do we get a purple slime sapling? Looks like we take a blue and destabilized redstone. Okay, so we have to get destabilized redstone. How do we get destabilized redstone? Looks like redstone in, uh, in that. Okay, so that's easy to do. So let's get a, um, only saplings. And let's get some redstone. Let's, uh, we got a ton of this stuff. And let's just see if we can get, first of all, get the other thing, and then we'll make the cobalt one, okay? So we have that. Let's put, uh, will that be enough? No. Would that be enough? No. Okay, come on. I don't care. Just give me a lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. And we have that clicked. And why is it not coming out? Okay, so let's go look at this again. We need to get the purple slap sapling. Okay. And it says to do that, it's in a cauldron. Ah, uh, okay. So we need to get that into a cauldron. Okay, so we need to get a bucket, and we can use our cauldrons over there and do it. Okay, so I thought it was a little bit different. It's been a while since I've done that thing. That's kind of like early game stuff that we did. Okay, um, let's go get a bucket. I believe we can just run right onto here. Is there a way to just get it out of the, into a bucket? Um... Can we get a cauldron here? I think we can. I think we did that before. I think I did that. I tried to pour it out into a cauldron. Um, wow. That's a regular cauldron. Let's try that one too. Um, if this doesn't work, we got to put it into a tank and then take it out of a tank or something. Like I kind of had to do that before for some reason. That didn't work. Um, can we pipe it out of there into... I'm drawing a blank, guys, on this. I know I've got enough in there. I've got to have enough. But just in case, let's just cook up some more. <laughs> That's usually five buckets worth, okay? That should be plenty. Now, this should, I would think, if I right-clicked on it or shift-click on it, give us the material. So I think we need to get it into a tank. Um, so let me go look at a tank here. We've got a couple of these... Uh, Melter, we'd use a porcelain tank would work, and we would need a fluid conduit and a servo, right? To get it into the tank, I think. So let's try this. This may not be the way to do it, guys. I'm just kind of trying to figure this out. Um, so give me, give me a second here while we work on this. This is kind of experimenting together here. Um, I want one of these, and it attached. And then I want it to go into a tank, like that. And we want a servo. Did I get the servo? I thought I got the servo. I guess I didn't. Okay. So we're going to put the servo on and then hopefully get the destabilized redstone out. Good. Now, if I have my cauldron here... Take a bucket. Good. Here's the bucket of that. We'll put it in there. Put this in here. And we got the purple sapling. Yay, purple sapling. Now all we have to do is pour to get the cobalt uh, sapling is just to pour cobalt over the purple one. Okay. So let's, uh, let's do that. Okay, so we have that here. Purple one. And cobalt. Now this may take a moment. I'm not sure if we need all this. I'll just throw it all in and we'll have to wait on that. So while we're waiting on that, let's look at the Ardite because that's the other one we have to do. Is that what is involved with that? The Ardite sapling. Again, it's a, basically it is an orange magma slime sapling. And to get that, it is blazing pyrothium with a blue slime sapling. So we need to get blazing pyrothium, which is just that. And we should be able to get that pretty easy. Okay, so let's get 
Blazing Pyrothium is this stuff here. Okay. We should be able to get that and make it kind of uh, the same way. Also, need another blue sapling for it eventually. Okay. So, how's this doing over here? Let's take a look. There it goes. I have three ingots worth. Let's pour it. Um, I put the drain back on. Come on. Work. <laughs> Okay, so this should give us then the cobalt sapling, which means now we have basically cobalt whenever we want. And why did that not give us... Oh, we have one more achievement here, or advancement here. Um, an ardite sapling. Okay, so now we got to get the blazing pyrothium, right? I'm going to throw that in there. It should, in theory, uh, basically be ready to pull out into a tank. Now I'm also going to... Um, Right now, I'm going to get some ingots. Make those others into ingots really quick. So let's get the ingot cast while we're waiting for it to, to work here. We've got two ingots worth, and we got two blocks worth of obsidian. So let's um, pour that out in a second. Okay, and now the obsidian. There we go. Okay. And this is going to be cooking up here in a little bit, and hopefully that'll be enough for what we need to do. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, that's done. And we're just waiting on this, okay? So let me uh, go AFK for a minute and we'll work on this in just a sec. All right, it is done. We have the blazing pyrothene with a bucket worth in there. I'm gonna put this on here, open it up, and then we have a bucket's worth. And now I've got, definitely have a bucket's worth here. And so we put this here. Oh, it's got water in it. Let's get the water out. Uh, that's not gonna work. We'll have to break it. Put it down and immediately put that and there we go and we take the blue sapling and there we have a magma slime sapling uh we might have already had that actually now that i think about it but that, that whatever it's okay and then we just have to go and put some ardite over it so let's grab the ardite dust put that in there let's get this back to being just like a table and that okay and now let's go look at it we have the sapling i think that's all we needed right Let's go make sure we look here. The Ardite sapling takes Magna Slime sapling and uh, Molten Ardite. And we're cooking up the Ardite now. I'll be ready in a few seconds. Now over there, I don't know if you can see it. I did set up a chest and a second chest with bonsai hopping pots on them. So we can run uh, the Cobalt, run the Ardite. Uh, that way we get all the drops so that then I can make the file cabinets and get those all hooked up. Um, so we're just making sure the drops are ready to go so I can make those files. Okay, there we go. And pour. And we should, once we pick this up, get the Ardite sapling. And then we have the advancement for getting all the saplings, uh, that are required for the advancement. So, and there it is, all the trees. Okay. So now I'm going to go over here. And put it in there. And you can see I'm already getting some of the drops here. Th those are five drops. How many does the Cobalt have? Um, from here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six things. Wood things we don't care about, really. Uh, it can put it in some other places. So really, it's just these things here. And, uh, we're missing a sapling, basically. So, back here is where I'll put this stuff. We'll have to make some file cabinets. So let's start doing on some of that right now while we wait. Okay, I have some of these files. I've made a bunch of these before, if you recall. Okay, and in here, we're gonna have, um... Wait, let me go to the storage system put some of this away, actually. Okay. So we have one of those. One of those. Basically, anything that this thing can produce. And we're still missing a, um, a cobalt sapling, okay? And what I do is I always put this up here, and then I put it in, and I get that. Okay. And there's those five. And I'm going to put them right over here into this file cabinet. We got to open it up first. You have to have an open hand. Sometimes you just got to take up space and free up space here. But we need one more for the sapling, which we haven't received yet. Over here, I believe it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same thing. We just need saplings. 
So let me get these pieces here. There's one. Of course, a stick. We have so many sticks and wood, it's crazy. We're still waiting on the sapling. And now let's make those folders. Okay, almost done. Okay, and they go into open hand here, into this place. Okay, there we go. So cobalt and ardite. Now we're just waiting on a sapling here and that should be pretty easy. Once they do, I'll move the hopping bonsai hopping pots over to here and put their stuff away. So guys, um, I think this has been a pretty successful day. We've got a lot done and uh, I think this is great. So anyway, I think it's about time to uh, cut the video. So, hey, if you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.